Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we are going to show you how to remove old gross caulk and apply new caulk to your bathtub. This one's pretty gross. It's got some deteriorated caulking and some mildew, and it's just horrible. Let's get to it. First, we got to start by removing the old caulking. Using a handy dandy paint scraper tool, we're going to remove the caulk. got to be careful not to gouge the finish on your tub, but I find this works pretty awesome. Turn it to the wall and turn it to the tub and go ahead and remove the old goopy caulk. Clean the tub up real nice, get all the old caulking off. And this one really needed to be done. I wouldn't want my kids to bathe in here. Now that we have the majority of the caulk off, we can use a straight razor to get off the little bit of remnants. Careful not to scratch the finish of your tub. Push the old remnants of the caulk out of the way. Nice and gentle. That's looking nice. All right, we have our remnants off. Now we can clean up the scrap and get ready to apply the new. Okay, we got our mess cleaned up. I like to clip my caulk tube at like a 45 degree angle, just leaving yourself a little hole. Ready to go. We're gonna start in the corner and just apply a little bit at a time, one straight line all the way across. We have a white tub, so we're gonna go back with some white tub and tackle caulk. Now this is the part that can make or break your awesome caulk job. Using your quarter inch finger trowel, we're going to wipe the caulk into the corner all the way down, nice and smooth. And then just wipe off the excess on a paper towel or napkin. If you have little areas that are thin, just go back with your extras and fill in the gap. Wipe off the excess. If you feel it's a little hard to work with, you can also wet your finger. Sometimes that helps. There we are. Wipe off the excess. Quarter inch finger trowel. Wipe off the excess. This one went on a little thick, so we're just going to wipe off the excess on our hand. There we go. We got a nice tight bead all the way around. It's looking clean. You might also check where your shower handles and the scutcheons fit to the wall. Sometimes they leak. This one looks pretty tight and we're good as new. Now I feel comfortable bringing my kid in here to bathe. Be sure to let your caulk cure for at least 24 hours before showering 
If it's your only tub, you can still take a bath. So that's it. The tub is looking great. The caulk line is tight and it's nice and white and beautiful. So for Home Bender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.